In this screencast, we're going to take a look at debugging Android applications. We're going to look at a couple of different topics. First, we're going to take a look at LogCat and see how that you can have your application log out various textual information and then view it using the LogCat tool. And then secondly, we'll actually take a look at the Android debugger as it's integrated into Eclipse. All right, so let's just do a simple debug session. And let's, uh, first of all, just take a look at LogCat, like I just mentioned. And so to switch perspectives, um, I'm up here in the upper right. So to switch perspectives in Eclipse, I'm just going to go right here to DDMS. OK, and now I'm in the DDMS perspective on my workbench. And all of the devices that I currently have connected in this system will show up over here. Um, and right now there's only one device there and that is actually this physical droid device that I've got connected. So let's run another device. I'm going to go ahead here and run an AVD. Um, I'm going to run my MDI level 8. And as this starts up You'll notice over there in the uh, Devices tab, sure enough, that device uh, showed up. So what's happened here is the, um, the host daemon has been able to establish a connection with the device daemon. And so now we've got this path of communication between our development environment and that particular um, device. So by selecting on these different devices, I actually control the rest of my DDMS perspective here. So if I click on the emulator device and I go down to my LogCat window, this is actually the LogCat output for this particular device. And it's booting right now, so in real time, you can actually see all the stuff that the uh, Android system is, is pushing out. If I were to go over to this device, this is the actual physical hardware now I've got connected. Now I'm actually looking at the um, log cat for that particular device. So if I actually do something here and run an app, you know, you'll actually see stuff happening like an air. <laughs> okay. So selecting the device here is actually what's going to determine, um, you know, what we're seeing here. And we we saw last week how we could actually go in here and, and browse the file system of these devices so here's my uh, SD card card on the uh, droid and here I can do the same thing with the emulator and we talked about these options over here where we could store stuff on that device or pull that that back off you can also look at things like your heap okay, so we can look at memory allocation um, we can look at a program. Okay, this guy's not running yet. And we can, we can look at the, the actual um, threads. Another interesting feature here that you might find handy when you do your, uh, your final um, presentation is I can take a screenshot on these devices by clicking on this little camera. So there, here's my droid. So this is the physical screen right now on that droid device. And if I just do a save, it's basically going to prompt me and let me store that PNG image on a disk. If I switch to my emulator device, Okay, there's my emulator device. Okay, so you can take screenshots that way. Um, and of course, you, if it's an emulator, you can actually use the screenshot software on your PC or your Mac as well. Okay, so there's lots of ways you can get those, those screen images. Not quite as nice as what you can do on iOS. There's just a hotkey on iOS and you can screenshot and it actually puts the images right into your photo gallery. So um, it's not, it's not quite, quite as nice there. Um, so let's see, I think that's all I want to show. Oh, there's other, some other control um, knobs down here that you'll eventually want to start using. Um, so I can do things like, uh, 
I can force a lat long here. So when I access location, the location manager, if I look at the location of the device right now, I can actually, for debug and development purposes, kind of feed in a lat long of my choice so I can make my app, you know, think it's near a particular place. Okay, so you can, because this, the emulator obviously doesn't have access to a real uh, GPS um, receiver, nor is it doing Wi-Fi triangulation like the actual device is doing for us. Um, and then you can also do things like if you wanted to simulate what, what's going to happen to my app if a phone call comes in um, or an SMS message comes in while my app is running. So these things get alerted by the, uh, the underlying Android platform is going to alert the user if a phone call comes in when they're running your app. So if you wanted to test and make sure you're handling that situation, you can actually inject an SMS or a, a simulated SMS or a, a phone call while your app is running in the emulator and just see what happens. Okay, So there's those types of things um, that you can do here. Um, so let's just go and um, put a log statement in to our code here, confirm that it's actually um, getting put into the uh, log. So let's just say log D and then um, We'll just hard code the tag. That's not what you'd really want to do because you're probably going to have multiple log statements within a single class when you're debugging. But I'm just going to do this to make it quick and easy. So I'll just say my all right. So I can put a log statement like that. And maybe I'll do one more. And if I run this app, it's going to ask me, there's two, two target devices available right now that meet the requirements of this app. So I'll go ahead and run it on the emulator. And if we go over to our DDMS, as this thing runs, okay, so it's up and running. And sure enough, right there are those two log statements that I just created. Now I just happened to pick those out. You can actually go in here. Um, so I've got debug turned on, um, but you can put filters in here as well. And I could say, and I can actually filter out just the stuff for a particular class um, or so forth. Um, so I turn that off. So that's that. And one other thing I'll show you is uh, if I do a log cat here. Okay, so here's a situation where I have more than one device running. So it really doesn't know what one I want to connect to. So if we give it the devices command, it comes back and tells me either the serial number of physical devices or gives me a string name of the emulator devices. So if I wanted to, um, oh, minus S. Okay, so with the minus S option, I can tell it which of the devices is connected right now. If there's only one, then it will just automatically spew that information out. So that's uh, Logcat. Um, now let's go ahead and uh, use the uh, integrated debugger here. So I've got my, this is the dialog demo from last week. So I went and I set a breakpoint right here. And to set breakpoints, all I need to do is double click over here in that gray region. So basically if you're familiar with Eclipse and you've done development in Eclipse before, Nothing's changed here. It's really exactly the same. 
Um, so I set one there, and um, let's go ahead and just set one down here for fun. So I'll set one there. Okay, and let's now go ahead and run, and we'll run on the emulator. So off it goes. Okay, I'm now in the debugger, and you can see my breakpoint right here, the very first one I set, and I can step along here. It's The actual keys are going to vary based on the keyboard and the, if you're Linux or Windows or Mac. Um, so I'll just use the icons here. They're universal. Um, so I can step through up here. I can, um, I can actually you know, probe the values. So here's my current context. I can look at you know, different things and just like you know and love and then I could continue and now it's running and if I pick something it's gonna go into that uncreate dialog so bingo now it break there so I could step through there okay so it's pretty much life as as usual once you get to this point very powerful and if I uh, if I were to choose to I can do the same thing with the device it makes no difference so let me get out of here if I debug again, now I'll pick my droid device here. Okay, and now I'm actually tracing on my actual physical hardware. And I can step through the program there.